Hello, my name is Abdul Mati Asiri, and I would like to come in another Boeing 737 video tutorial. In this uh, video, I wanted to talk about the auto brake use for landing. Now, as you know, there is off one, two, three, and maximum settings for auto brake. And uh, usually, for me, 90% of the time I land with the auto brake off uh, since it is less hassle for me to disconnect the auto brake. Uh, auto brake one, I haven't used it, and uh, I personally don't see any benefit of using auto brake one. So I usually use auto brake two if I want to, like if there is a good, a strong crosswind, or in the simulator training single engine, most of the time I use, uh, in all the landings actually in the simulator, I use auto brake two, except for flaps up landing where I use auto brake three. Uh, in real life, auto brake three and maximum usually if I have a short uh, runway, but if I'm landing with uh, in a runway that is 8,000 feet or longer, I usually go with auto brake off. So uh, let's talk about assuming that I used auto brake two for landing. How to disconnect the auto brake and when to disconnect it? As soon as uh, you feel that you have enough runway left for you to deselect the airplane, normally then go ahead and disconnect the auto brake. And the best way to disconnect it is by manually overriding the, uh, by pressing the, uh, the rudder pedal to override the auto brake. Now, when you do that, make sure to start applying the brakes slowly. And when you hear the pilot muttering say auto brake disarm, then slowly uh, release the, uh, the brakes. You don't wanna tap the brakes to disconnect it as that's gonna be uncomfortable for the passengers. And uh, when the auto brake disarmed, make sure you don't let go immediately. Again, that's gonna be uncomfortable for the passengers. So start applying the brakes slowly, and when you hear auto brake disarm, or uh, when you see the light illuminates for the auto brake disarm, go ahead and start releasing the, uh, the brakes slowly. So as soon as you land, once you feel that you have enough runway left for the airplane to decelerate normally, go ahead and disarm the auto brakes. Now you can, dis you can ask the pilot monitoring to select the auto brake switch to off. Even if you do that, make sure that you have uh, some brake pressure or start applying the brakes, even if the auto brake are still engaged. Once the switch is selected to off, then you'll have the manual control. So the airplane will not go from auto brake to deceleration to nothing, but, uh, by slightly applying some pressure on the on the brake pedal, once the auto brake selected to off, you will uh, reduce this transition from auto brake to to auto brake off or no brakes. So this is what I wanted to cover regarding the auto brake, just to make it as smooth as possible for the passengers, the transition or uh, disarming the auto brake. Now the auto brake can be disarmed as well by retracting the speed brake, and this technique uh, cannot be used since the auto brake, the uh, speed brake should not be retracted until you clear the runway. And uh, we talked about selecting the switch to off by the pilot monitoring or by manually overriding the auto brake. So experiment with that. If you have a long runway and good weather, try landing with the auto brake off and have a feeling for that, uh, maybe you like it. Uh, the uh, the thing is, for new pilots, when they uh, train in the simulator, usually they will land with auto brake, so you get a feeling for the pressure of the nose of the airplane going down. And uh, when you go with the auto brake uh, off in the real airplane, that pressure is going to be less. So what the pilots tend to do is they will uh, over rotate with the uh, with the nose. So make sure that you keep that in mind. And when you use auto brake off for the first time in the real airplane, keep in mind that the pressure that you need to hold the nose or control the nose uh, going down to touch the runway is gonna be much less than if you use auto brake too. Uh, so as usual, I hope that this video will be of some benefit to you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know. And until next time, this is Abdul Mati Asiri. Wish you safe flying and smooth landing. Thank you for watching.